Hey guys, Adam Frimmer here from DIYPhotography.net. We're joined back here again by Bobby at the Black Magic stand at IBC 2019 where he's going to tell us a little bit about the Video Assist 7-inch monitor. DIY Photography's coverage of IBC 2019 is sponsored by SERP, Better Films, Zion, a gimbal for everyone, Manfrotto, Imagine More, and Spiffy Gear, lighting for storytellers. Hey Bobby. Hey. I see this uh, new monitor is out. What's going on here? Yeah, so this is an update to our uh, video assist. This is the new Video Assist 7 inch HDR 12G monitor. So, That's a uh, mouthful. that is a mouthful. And we have a 5 inch version as well. Uh, they're both 12G, they're both HDR capable, they're both 2500 nit screens, so they're super bright. Uh, we also have a, a new implementation of Blackmagic RAW for a couple of cameras. So, we're doing the C300 Mark II as well as uh, one of the Panasonic cameras, the EVS1. And that uh, is the first two cameras to record Blackmagic RAW in the video assist. So yeah, we wanted to be able to get those out. So uh, we have that in addition to the new plugins for editorial. But this is the first monitor that's going to be able to record Blackmagic RAW from those cameras. So before we get into that amazing implementation, tell me about the monitor a little bit. What's changed in the specs here? Yeah, sure. So um, both monitors have the 2500 nit screen, so they're super bright. Um, they're 12G capable, so all the new inputs are 12G. On the uh, 5 inch, they have um, uh, mini BNC connectors, which is a little different than the last one. Uh, these actually lock like BNCs, they're not mini DIN. Uh, so uh, those are there. Uh, these are 12G inputs. They both have HDMI in and out. The 5 inch screen has one um, uh, SD card reader this, and recorder. This one has two, so you can do continuous recording. So you can actually record Blackmagic RAW onto an SD. Correct. Yes. So that's the idea that you know you can record Blackmagic RAW to the SD from these cameras. Uh, and it also does ProRes and DNX, so this way it has uh, a couple of different formats for everybody. Um, and uh, you can go up to 24 frames per sec. I mean, uh, 60 frames per second in Ultra HD. So in addition to the, S the two SD cards, because SDs uh, don't have the largest capacity, how else can we get a little bit more on there? Right. So each of them has a USB-C port on the bottom that can go out either to one of our new multi-docks or or to just a, a, a standard SSD drive. Oh, awesome. And also the 5 inch has it? Yeah, they, so they both have them, and then they'll show up so that there's a, a, a third slot here. So you have card one, card two, and, and drive. So I see here we have a speaker grill. Do we also have uh, audio input? Right, so we have the speaker grill on both of them, but there is an audio input on the 7 inch. It's two mini XLRs. So this way you have uh, more channels of audio coming in. So we're actually filming here with Blackmagic, so we love the Blackmagic RAW codec. Really happy to see the implementation on new cameras. We see here the C300 Mark II. Where else is it? Where else is it going? Right, so there, there's a, a, Canon, I mean a Panasonic camera now. So that one uh, has been profiled. This one's been profiled. Uh, we're not sure about how many more or when, but uh, our effort is to try and re uh, get other cameras to be compatible with our Blackmagic RAW. And in addition, we have the new plugins for both uh, Premiere and for Media Composer, so it's really starting to grow in only uh, one year. Can I ask what the limitation is for getting Blackmagic RAW through SDI? Uh, I don't know the exact number, but uh, you know, part of the reason is it's not just what comes out of the SDI. We need RAW format, but we need to, we need sensor data provided. So there has to be a little bit of uh, you know work with the other companies, and uh, you know we have NDAs with all of them because of Resolve, so we're able to get some of that info. So we have to be able to have uh, the right amount of data coming off of them, and then we have to profile it properly so that we actually make a good codec. It's not a generic thing where you just plug anything into it. You really need to have sensor data so that we can pre-process and record at the same time. So it seems like a, a team effort between Blackmagic and... A exactly, and we've done a, uh, you know, we, we provide the SDK for free, and we, um, um, we'll work with anybody, and we don't charge a licensing. Oh, awesome. Well, in true Black Magic fashion, outdoing yourselves again. This was Bobby at the Black Magic stand in IBC 2019. I'm Adam Frimmer from DIYphotography.net. Don't forget, we have a $5,000 giveaway. You can read more about that in the description below. Check it out.